Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose, and today we have a product review. Um, today we will be looking at the Epiphany Outdoor Gears um, Pocket Bellows and B Fire Fuses. Okay, so here they are. Uh, I got this in a Karen box, uh, which I do unboxings a couple of months ago. Um, I'll link it up to the eye in the upper right hand corner. Um, but this came in a box and it was pretty sweet. I wasn't sure what to expect just because the packaging seems kind of DIY, like do it yourself packaging. But it's very effective packaging. Um, in this little kit, I believe this is called the. Uh, bellows and baddest bees fuses bundle or something i don't know but basically you can purchase them online either at the epiphany outdoor store or you can get these on amazon and i i got these in a cairn box but i'll put the amazon link below and the epiphany outdoor gear website below as well so you can check those out um so yeah but basically it's two different tools uh, one's a fire starter and one is a um, fire support tool. And what I mean by that is once you ignite your fire, you need to keep it going or at least create it, uh, build the fire to um, make it a longer lasting and, and cleaner burning uh, fire. So all too often, um, people tend to start a fire with a match or whatever, or they light a piece of paper or whatever, and it starts to burn, but then for whatever reason, they didn't have the proper size tinder and it doesn't catch and then it just burns out. This bellowing device, we'll look at the bellows first, uh, is basically designed to extend, place it into the fire, and then blow right through. And basically you're delivering oxygen into the heart of the fire rather than it trying to blow in, in itself. A lot of times burning stuff, you'll lose the carbon dioxide or the carbon dioxide that's created will then suffocate the fire itself. So you wanna get oxygen in there. And what this does, it goes from 3.5 inches in a compact form and extends up to 20 some inches, about 20 inches which keeps your face safely away from the fire. And then, um, but then you blow into this bigger end and it'll blow air right into the fire. Now, I was a little bit skeptical to think that something so simple would be so effective. But as you can see in the video, this thing would just get the, the fire ripping. Like you blow right into those hot coals, deliver a ton of oxygen in there and it just boom just blew up. Uh, so I, as soon as I first tried this, which I had this in my possession for quite some time, I just never gave it a shot. You know, I want to bring this on all my uh, camping trips now because it just, it just turned the fire into like a beast in an instant. So uh, I was really impressed with it. And for the, those of you who might use um, like pockets, uh, wood burning stoves, like the fire ant or the, um, you know, tinder box or fire box or whatever they're called. This would actually help too, cause you can stick it in one of those, uh, ventilation slots and, or even just right underneath the stove, uh, for the ones that have the vents underneath and just blow air into it. And I'm sure that'll get that stove going real good. So, uh, definitely a handy tool to have just impressed with it i can't recommend it enough and i believe the price on this as far as checking on amazon is under 15 bucks i think it's like 12 dollars on amazon or less so easily affordable makes a great tool and definitely would be something good to add into uh, a survival kit a camping kit or if you're into bushcrafting it's still really primitive technology would fit right in line with uh, any bushcraft kit that being said, it also came with these awesome little fire uh, starters. So all too often do we see different types of fire starters out there. You know, there's wet fire and tender quick and all that stuff. These ones are pretty cool. They look like they're kind of a 
cotton rope of some sort that was impregnated with uh, different oils. Now it says that these are uh, pretty much weatherproof. Uh, so if it's wet or whatnot, it should still ignite. Um, and they're all natural. So there's no harsh chemicals made into them. So if they burn and you're worried about inhaling any sort of harsh chemicals, these are safe are safer than uh, some of the other products out on the market. Uh, they are made in the USA, which is cool. Both these products are so um, made in the USA. So you got to support local. Um, and they are made from cotton, um, beeswax, olive oil, and uh, a coloring dye just to give it this color. Um, so there you have it. And pretty much you don't even need like a full stick to really get a fire going. I usually cut these into thirds and then only ignite part of it. And that's usually enough to get my tinder going or I might even cut them into half. Uh, the other thing is, you know, they gave you a good amount in here. I think I got like a bonus bundle because they look like they're packaged slightly different on the website. But, um, you know, you can put these into uh, the Exotac fire rod has a little capsule for fire starters you just cut them in half and you kind of tuck both in there um but yeah absolutely love them work great uh in combination with this you're going to get any fire uh fire started so highly recommend both of these they're i like the packaging too it's really simple you know it's more or less weatherproof it's not waterproof but you know it's going to resist any rain or whatever it's encapsulated. It's small, compact. This thing literally fits in your pocket. Uh, it's hard to not bring this in any sort of kit or pack. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I put in clips for the videos. Like, you can see it for yourself. Just awesome. Um, but there you go. It's the Epiphany Outdoor Gear uh, Pocket Bellows and the... Uh, baddest bees fire starter so check these out uh, check out the eye in the upper right hand corner check the amazon links below they will send you straight to them so there'll be no question if you got the right one just click on the link you'll pick them up this make great father's day gifts stocking stuffer and anything else uh, please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you outside thank you